Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I continue taking a look at some of the cool updates to the 3Play 3P2 system. This time taking a look at the updates to workspaces, playlists, file sharing, and file naming. A lot of really cool features that help you control your 3P2 faster and more efficiently. So, let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so here I am on my 3Play 3P2, and I want to show you some of the changes that have been made to the 3P2 interface with the latest update that you can find at newtech.com slash downloads. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is if you go up to this part of the screen here, and let's say that I wanted to give myself a little bit more real estate. Let's say I wanted to see my cameras a little bit bigger than I would my uh, A and B output. What I can do is I can grab this, if I can get my mouse to work, just in the corner here, there we go. And if I start to move these around, you'll see now that the cameras and the different video uh, uh, previews in here will scale up and down accordingly when moving your interface around. So you can start to arrange the real estate of your screen a little bit uh, with some precision in here, let's say. Now the, uh, the next thing I wanna show you is on the playlist side of things. So you'll see down here at the bottom, I have uh, a bunch of different playlists. And in previous iterations of the uh, three play, if I went through and started to add, say, more playlists in here, I would get to the end and it would just kind of keep going off to the right. But you'll see now when I start to add more playlists, it starts to stack them on top of each other. So that makes it a lot easier for you to uh, get to. And if I keep going, let's add some more, you'll see that now I have a scroll wheels that can go up and down here to uh, start to navigate my different playlists. Okay, uh, and speaking of playlists, uh, with the 3Play 3P2, you are now able to share playlists to, different, to uh, other 3Plays that are on the same update. So uh, um, on previous uh, iterations, you were able to share your playlists and the clips of that going into, uh, say, like a TriCaster 2 Elite, but now you can do it to other three plays that you have on your network. So for example, let's say I have this playlist right here, playlist zero. Let me go ahead and right click and I'm just gonna call this Richard's Playlist. Okay. And now I'm gonna move over to uh, another three play that I have here on my network. Okay, so here we're over here, and now you'll see in this playlist, uh, it's currently empty, and if I go ahead and right-click in here and select Import from 3Play, I can then go through my network and find the 3Play that I have on there that I want to share the playlist from, so let's go ahead and select that. And you can see right there, Richard's playlist is already shared. Click that button, and boom, those are all the clips that I have on my other 3Play that I can now bring into this system over here. So that is pretty dang cool. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is back on my original 3Play over here. Uh, let's see here. So uh, I'm going to go up to my options side of things, and I'm going to turn on clip list previews. All right, now when I do that, you'll see that I have my four different camera angles here of that, uh, the, the uh, different uh, uh, clips that I have recorded on here. Um, and in previous iterations, you pretty much just had just this, these four or eight up here, depending on the system that you, uh, or the way that you had your sessions set up. And, but now I can go through and say, start to turn different things off. So if I only want to see cameras uh, one and two previews, I can do that or I can turn them all back on. It's kind of up to you, just some housekeeping things, so to speak. Okay, and the last thing that I wanna show you in here is gonna be workspaces. So within uh, the, the workspace side of things, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, you're able to uh, connect you know, other monitors uh, to your three play so that you can start to move things around. And if I go up here to the top of my screen and click on workspaces, I'll go to multi-viewer number two, and you'll see that we have a whole bunch of different options here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to transfer over to my uh, other three play uh, um, multi-viewer, just so you can see what that looks like while I do this. And I'll call them out as I go through them, just so I don't bend up bouncing back and forth between my interfaces. So right now, I currently have it set up as, uh, it's gonna have the outs, the ins, and the clocks. Uh, but then I also have an option here, I can go to outs, ins, uh, downstream keyers and clocks. I can also just do the output and the clocks only. And then I can also do this one. This next one is the inputs, DSKs, out, and the different angle previews. 
I'm just kind of going down the list here. And then this one here, this will be just the angles. So uh, that's going to be on your clip list playback side of things. And on the next one here, this will be the in, the out, and the angles coming through. And the next one here is going to be just output A. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is output B, which I currently have in my uh, clip list mode. So it's just a still image right now. And if I go to clip and playlist panes, so now you'll see here that I have my clip lists and my playlists over here. Now, if I go back over to my three play interface, this is what I want to show you, is uh, when you start to uh, move these over to a different screen, you'll see that they are no longer in your main interface, okay? So that will then delegate those somewhere else so you're not having a stack on top of it, you know, having like a, you know, a double vision of what you're working on. And on the last one here, workspaces, multi-viewer, I'll click on tags pane. And then this one sets up just your tags panel in that secondary monitor. And then you'll see over on my main interface that I have my clips are back and my playlists are back here. Now, what's cool about this is, again, if you have a touchscreen monitor, you can then go through and start to tag stuff simply by clicking on these uh, different tags on here. Uh, but let's say that you have uh, some other computers laying around, just some standalone machines. What's awesome about this is you don't necessarily have to plug in a physical monitor into that 3Play. You can get some monitor emulators and that will simulate having a secondary monitor or a, a third monitor plugged into your 3Play system. So that, that way what you can do is open up uh, on another computer that maybe might have a, a touchscreen uh, interface to it. Uh, you can then use NDI Studio Monitor and select this output so it would be like you had a, a virtual monitor that you can use on a different screen. So you can, get, you can start to spread all this stuff out across multiple machines if you want. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so the next thing, the, uh, this is technically the last thing I want to show you, is uh, the export side of things has a very interesting way of being able to export uh, your clips with different file names now. So for example, I'm going to grab this clip here. It doesn't really matter which one I do. Uh, I'm going to do right click, export to media, or add to export media, I should say. And let me open up my export media queue. So you see that I have this right here and here. And what I can now do, you'll see at the top here, I have an option for file name template. And currently it's set up to where it's going to have the clip ID, camera name, and comment, and that will make it the file name extension. So that way, or sorry, the, the file name itself. So that way when you're going through uh, after the fact and wanting to organize your uh, files, you can then determine what you want to have the file names be by going over to this side and clicking on this tag button here. And you'll see that you can add the application name, camera name, clip ID, title. Uh, you can add a custom field here. Uh, the comment, the date, duration, etc. And if I stay, let's go add something else in here for the date, like that. So now you'll see what this has in here, except I currently only have the, the title and the date, is it will be the, cam the clip ID and the date for that. And if you hit export, that will export that out, and it makes it a lot easier for you to save your files and then use them in, say, post-production, just easier to find. So a lot of cool things and a lot of cool updates to the 3Play 3P2. I highly recommend checking these out. Download that update at newtech.com slash downloads. And, of course, have some fun! There you have it, some more cool updates to the 3Play 3P2 to help run your replays even more efficiently. Now, for more tutorial videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized New Tech product training, I highly recommend checking out New Tech University, which you can sign up for at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on New Tech products and services, contact your local New Tech partner, or you can visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work on social media using new tech products, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing all the cool stuff that you're working on. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.